Today I'm not cooking, but sharing with you the condiment that I use often. Twelve of them are prepared in advance, and four of them are freshly prepared. These are twelve condiments that I have prepared in advance. This is crispy fried garlic. It's very fragrant. Here is garlic oil that we get from frying the garlic. It can be made at home by frying minced garlic with unscented oil. I often use it to garnish stir-fried vegetable, fried rice, noodle soup, and many more. It can be kept in an airtight container for about two weeks. This is crispy fried shallots. Here is the onion oil we get from making it. The fried shallots are very sweet and fragrant. It pair well with many dishes. Use as garnishing it on stir-fried vegetable, fried rice, fried noodles, or eaten on its own. I like to use fried shallots and onion oil with yam cake, wonton mee, yam rice, chicken rice, and clay pot chicken rice. They can be kept in an airtight container for about five to seven days. This is chili flake. It can be made at home or bought. It is good with fried rice, noodle soup, or pizza. It can be kept in an airtight container for about two months. This is crispy fried anchovy or ikan bilis. They goes well with nasi lemak, pan mi, fried mi hun, and rice with sambal. They can last up to a week in an airtight container. This is homemade chili dip. It goes well with fried tofu, yam cake, or grilled meat. I usually serve this chili dip with chicken rice and also use it as a sebak sauce. It lasts up to three to four weeks in the fridge. This is homemade ginger scallion sauce and it goes well with chicken rice, clay pot chicken rice, or steamed fish. Sometimes, I use it to stir fry chicken or pork. However, steamed fish with ginger scallion sauce is the best. It can last up to six weeks in the fridge. This is sambal belacan or shimpe chili dip. This goes well with fried fish, vegetable, and rice. It can last up to a week in the fridge. This is pickled green chili. It goes really well with fried meat, grilled meat, or wonton mee or noodles. It's also best served with Chinese fried rice. It's really simple to make and lasts up to a month in the fridge. When taking some from the bottle, make sure to use clean and dry chopstick so it lasts longer. This is sour spicy sauce for beef noodle soup. It also goes well with barbecue pork, beef or chicken. As well as steamed fish with a lot of vegetable. It lasts up to three weeks in the fridge. This is roasted peanut. I usually serve this with nasi lemak, pad thai, or any Thai salad. In addition to serving as a table snack, it can be kept fresh in an airtight container for up to three weeks. This is roasted groundnut. I usually put this in Thai noodle soup, pad thai, and Thai green mango salad. It's also good as a topping for your favorite ice cream. It lasts for up to two weeks in an airtight container. This is chili garlic oil. It is good to eat with noodles, banh mi, stir fry tofu, mapo tofu, or when cooking vegetable. It is also good to pair with fried rice. It's very simple to make and lasts for a very long time. Keeping it in an airtight bottle like this, it can last for up to six to seven months or more. We have seen condiments that are needed to prepare in advance. Now. Let's look at four condiments that I prepare on the spot and serve. For the ingredients, they are sugar, cut limes, cut red bird eye chili, cut green bird eye chili, and chopped garlic. These three condiments go really well together. Next, let's take a look at the ingredients and sauces that are mixed with chili and garlic. This is distilled vinegar, fish sauce. Light soy sauce and thick soy sauce. Let's mix it. Add some green bird eye chili, red bird eye chili, chopped garlic, and some light soy sauce. This is good to eat with some Chinese dishes such as fried rice noodle and clay pot chicken rice. This condiment is similar to previous one but with Thai influence. It has green chili, red chili, garlic, fish sauce. And squeeze lime juice. This is best served with Thai fried rice, stir fried meat with basil leaf, sunny side up egg with rice. Next, combine red chili, garlic, green bird eye chili, and thick soy sauce. This condiment is delicious with bakute or clay pot chicken rice. Next, for the sweet variation, mix red and green bird eye chili, sugar, 
distilled vinegar, and stir until sugars dissolve. This is usually served with Thai stir-fried noodles, such as Pad Thai or Pad Si Iu. A piece of cut lamb is served on the side for a twist of sourness. Alright, these are different types of condiments that I serve with my meals. It may seem like a lot, however, I may only serve one or two depending on what I am cooking on each day. I have also shared the recipe for prepared the condiments on my YouTube channel, Condiments Playlist. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed the video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.